Right, so I'm halfway through a job and I've realised I haven't got a suitable arbour for some of my slip saws. Um, many years ago I bought the, one of these uh, stepped arbours, Chinese ones. This one's sort of falling apart, but it, it's got a variety of steps which are particularly unconcentric um, and a very poorly um, made clamp so that it doesn't really hold the uh, slit saws very well. So I need to make a new arbour. Got this um, blank end arbour from Art Gear Trade. Um, it's a Morse 3 with a 40mm um, blank end so I can machine that down and attach both my 32mm bore and my inch bore slit source. Um, so it's going to need me to use, no not that one, rarely used three to four sleeve. I stick that in my um, lathe headstock which is a Morse 4 um, and machine that, keep it nice and concentric. So I'm actually going to uh, do two um, diameters, one at 25.4, and I've measured the um, holes on the 32s, and they're actually a little bit over, so 3205, I want to make it a really close fit, because one of the annoying things I find about slit saws is they tend to run out, and you only get to cut on a few teeth. Um, so if I can make it as concentric as possible, hopefully it'll work a bit better. So I've got a little um, 30 degree or 60 degree included angle um, PCB milling tool here. It's carbide tool, so it's you know pretty strong, um, but it means I can get a nice little undercut in here, and hopefully a nicely seated blade. Well, I managed to get an undercut before I lost the tip. Um, I'm not entirely surprised by that because um, it's sticking out a long way, so there's going to be some vibration on there. Um, I had to stick it out a long way because when I'm working in the spindle nose, I mean, the chuck sort of starts here, um, but of course, oh, everything's a lot closer, so I'm basically down here the um, lead screw cover is almost fully compressed so I'm running out of room that way um, this uh, could be removed if necessary but the actual lead screw cover that bit and that bit are rigid so I've got about five millimeters travel there um, so I'm, I'm getting close to the limits my top slide is fully wound that way so that's overhanging so obviously that's not very rigid um, and I had to hang this out quite a long way and that's hanging out so all in all not terribly rigid so I'm not surprised that broke let's see if that undercut has worked hmm. yeah there was a little bit of trapped carbide there um, but I did have to get another cutter and just relieve it ever so slightly more um, and that is a perfect flush fit now that should clamp up nicely. Um, so now I need to turn the 25.4 shoulder for the next size down. Um, so I'll do about half and half and then make some um, clamping rings. You might be wondering why I don't just use a high speed steel tool to do that undercut and it's because I have these, they're pre-ground and uh, it would take a fair bit of time to grind a tool because uh, I don't have one ground to the right angle. Simple as that.
So that smaller one is now a nice snug fit and it butts up perfectly to the to the shoulder. So that's good. So I've got this um, uh, bush, whatever you call it, off a old circular saw. Um, it's got a raised section there, which I'm going to completely remove down to this recessed section here. That'll then um, be the end cap on here. Um, and I'll just have to make some appropriate rings to space everything off. All right, am I balling it up just against the chuck jaws so that it's roughly square? Then I'm going to use a bearing bump tool to uh, get it to run vaguely true. Miles off. So I've turned up a couple of spacers, I've got a 25 millimeter spacer and a 32. Um, then I've done an end cap, which will sit on there. So what I'm gonna do is turn a small uh, 16 millimeter spigot on there for this to locate, so it's nice and concentric. Um, and then I need to drill and tap for an M12 bolt to bolt it all together. And then I think we're done. Uh, I've had to put a washer in here um, between the end cap and the 25mm um, spacer because I've still got a flange on here which I want to remove and of course it doesn't locate properly without it, uh, without it machined down so I'm just going to take that down and flip it around. Two more ring, 25 mil ring, it's a snug fit. Go. And then this ring. And a bolt.
there we are, it's um, basically finished. Uh, 25 mil um, ball slit saw clamped in there at the moment. I shall stick that on the mill and give it a go in a minute. Um, I am going to mill some flats on this this round section so I can put a spanner on it to make it a lot easier to do the, the Allen key up. Um, but yeah, that's finished. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.